energy vibration lesson for um, the Librans, Librans and Moon Horizon sign for um, the um, fourth quarter of the year 2019. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the wonderful positive energy vibration. Um, and you Librans, thank you so much for supporting my channel. Please like, share these videos, thumbs up, and subscribe. Remember that there's always a, um, the ending um, of uh, extended reading. Um, uh, you guys weren't aware, but the extended reading was over an hour. Now I'm taking it back to half an hour because. Um, it was an hour. It was just a dollar ninety nine. You liberals never only the liberals who, um, you know, buy the extended read and know that it was an hour long for a dollar ninety nine that you guys will never receive again. Okay, liberals, let's see what's coming up. This is a period with a lot of fire energy, a lot of clearing and secrets, uh, um, enemies. So be aware of that. Whoopsie Daisy, whatever is going on. Some of you Librans in the month of October is going to be finding out something. It's like a huge collapse of something, and you're going to be finding out something that you weren't aware of. Okay, so whatever is transpiring is that the energy of the tower is working as a general energy. So something is going to happen and you guys are going to find out something that you weren't aware of so be aware of that so you have water energies coming in then you have a tower moment i swear ladies and gentlemen whatever is happening i shuffle the cards like ten thousand times and ask for the energy of the liberals and this tower is coming up because it is definitely and i think this is happening for you air sign people because you're working against um, the shift of the energy of which you are cleaning up stuff okay so you air sign you liberals are cleaning up something you saw the truth to something this tower energy is coming out with um, overcoming an issue in the general it was the tower it was the devil so you liberals are removing a negative issue and a negative situation in the month of November because you're working with the energy of low force and lower people and you're moving them out of your life because you finally see the truth about an issue or someone and you're removing them or the situation out of your life. So you have water and fire. And in the general reading, in the month of November is the month where the negative energy um, is where outside influences and forces and you're removing them out of your life which is good Wow there is definitely a message for you um, air sign people so the best month is going to be um, I would say with the hermit because I really like the hermit because the the hermit is when um, someone comes up and, and and let you see something someone can, can um, comes up and let you see something and this is the energy of the star and whatever the issue is and whatever the situation is there's a healing because you're moving a negative force or energy out of your life and a healing is going to be coming in and this healing is going to be good because this healing is going to be making you reach higher um, places in your life and higher values so you're having water fire and here and this is, is so wonderful for you guys because it's really that some of you are going to be seeing um, an issue that you had not seen before it's like you realize that you have an addiction or you realize that someone was addicted or you realize a situation over a friend or um, something you were dealing with and you're like whoa I'm getting rid of this out of my life and you bring in the tower energy or the universe comes in and remove that um, negative forces that was happening and then in December that's when the energy of the star comes in where the healing takes place and whatever if, if you were um, if there was something that was old in you you know 
um, as hostage and negative energy or negative forces outside negative energies and forces that was holding you as hostage now you're seeing this positive alignment from energy where this thing this situation this issue is being vamped out of your life and this is going to be God so um wow um this is so positive because you have the tower in the right place where the energy of the devil is so some of you could be removing an aquarius out of your life or where this negative energy has been it could be someone or something that was being very negative in your life what is it that the air the emperor the hermit is showing the libras the hermit is showing the Libra something about the family or something about someone, a friend, a past life, someone who you're closely connected to. These could be soul family. Um, the hermit is showing you something about this person. And then you're going to be realizing, oh my God, this situation is not good for me. Oh my God, I never saw this. This is really not good for me. I need, and it has to do something with people from past lifetime because they're coming back and the, as um, karma clearers, but they're also coming back as friends in your life or acquaintance or connection. So it could be acquaintance or friend. Um, but these, whoever these people or situation is, it could be the work floor also, but it's as if you're seeing that I am not connected to these people. I should not be in this energy or this relationship, and you are going to be handing this. Okay, a tower moment is coming up now. Some of you are going to be, um, when this moment comes up in November, um, you're going to be feel left out in the cold, but it's just for a time. It is just a time when you're used to having something and this thing is being removed. Whatever it is uh, needs to go because if it didn't need to go, the universe is as if you know that this thing doesn't serve you, but you were holding on on this thing. And it's as if the universe is saying, listen, because of this energy or this person or the situation in your life or this place where you at, you cannot move forward. And we want to give you something, the Prince of Pentacles, the Prince of Pentacles. So some of you who are in a relationship with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn, um, between the ages of 18 and 45 this is someone who you have known in past lifetime but you're going to be seeing the truth about this person now this person could be a your child okay this person could be your child but whatever is happening because I'm seeing the family and the kids and you um, um, it, this is your child because you're watching it's as if you finally saw something about your child and you are so astonished so whatever it is because this is definitely a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and whatever it is with this young person it's affecting your life and you're finally seeing the truth about this person or um, if some of you are going to be finding out that your child friends are not um, the right match for the energy vibration of your child because you're it's as if they could be playing and you realize that the, the friend kicked the child and you know and, and and they weren't aware that you were looking and you're realizing that no I need to keep my child protected I need to remove my child out of this because it has something to do with family and it has something to do with past life issues and here is the energy of um because it's as if you weren't seeing something about a child, either their partner, either friendship, but you were deciding to bring this thing to an end because I'm seeing some of you want to protect your child from this person and this situation. And in the month of December is when the healing is going to be coming in. And the healing is coming in, but you felt um, sorry that it's transpired, but still you have to give it time. Whoever this person is, I am seeing you guys ending um, a relationship or ending. This child is going to be removed from you. Let's hope that it's this child is not going to jail or something like this. But whoever this per young person is, they are going to be removed out of your life. Whatever way it is, it could be that your child lived at home, 
they're moving in with their partners you're not really happy with that whatever it is uh, um, there is a transition so um, let's look and see what is coming up for the Libras because this whole moment has to do with a young um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this person is between the age of 18 and 45 and the energy um, of this person is where um, this person um, it could be um, something to do with uh, um, yeah it's definitely between the age of 18 and 45 is some child or young person that you're in a relationship with you're having a issue with whatever that is this person is going to be moving now let's look at the astrological clock and again coming up in the general energy as a tower moment where you're going to be seeing something about your partner or your husband or your marriage or your friendship with people and friends um, it doesn't have to be it is um, about someone who you connect with so it's you know it's friends it's people who you're in friends with it's people on the work floor whatever it is it could be um, someone who you friend on the work floor and you realize something but this is coming up as uh, your partner your lover your husband your wife whatever the situation is is that you're seeing the truth about who they are and uh, let's see what's happening for the tower the tower moment have to do with the Aquarian so whatever is transpiring um, so um, some of you are dealing with an Aquarians okay and it's Pao Yao and the Aquarians is the innovators okay so some of you could be um, working together with and um, an Aquarians and they are going to like steal your ideas or something like that but you're gonna get them back because it's as if um, you're working with this person you have an idea you say the idea and then all of a sudden you realize that this person is using your idea and you're gonna be getting them back because you're gonna be realizing that this isn't fair it could be a relationship if you're in Aquarius a, um, a friendship or a relationship or you're married to an Aquarian that this person is going to be leaving your life now when the Aquarians comes up um, with the tower moment it is uh, um, you are ending something because the Aquarians are sitting in the house of innovation okay it, it's about you finding out something you um, being um, in the right space at the right time December is a good month for you guys and you had Neptune Neptune is the unseen and for you liberals December is going to be a good month to ask for what you want so start writing your list of 10 things to ask your spirit guides and angels for um, something that you want because these um, this is a good time to ask because the unseen the spirit guides are going to be here check out the extended region okay definitely um, I, an Aquarian is going to be leaving some of you lives however this person is whatever is out then they're going to be leaving your life they're not going to die but the karmatic issue between you and this person is over then we have the outlook so definitely this is affecting people with children you're seeing something about your kids you're you're realizing something that is transparent and just has to do with the energy of your kids so whatever that is transparent and whatever is happening it could be your kids or it could be your family or it could be kids of the neighbors or some of you could be thinking hey I you know let me I, I want to change my career and go and help kids but it's something the outlook of what it is going to be for kids in the future so I am seeing that some of you if even you don't have kids you could be um, going within and see how you could do something for kids around you and kids in your life so check out and see what how is this energy affecting you and you will know um, what is happening and what is transpiring then as we look at the five of Pentacles we see communication so there is definitely that some of you via the intuition via the spirit guide you're going to be receiving some communication if you have a child that is an Aquarius or um, whoever this person is um, it could be you be you could be having some communication with um, a Gemini 
a Gemini could be coming in some of you could be um, having some hardship and it's going to be um, you know going to an, a Gemini um, to speak with this person it could be in the dream time for some of you or a Gemini could be helping you um, from the spirit world with the hardship that you're going through, because some of you are really going through some hardship and you're going to be reaching out to a Gemini and this is going to be good some of you are going through hardship and you're going to be reaching out to a Gemini and this is going to be good because um, it's going to be ill now the the most positive and the most positive cards that you can have is tuning with the flow tuning with the flow so what is happening here definitely is that uh, um, whoever this young person is between the age of 18 and 45 they need to leave your life go with the flow okay because this person needs to leave your life okay um, this person could have been in a relationship or this person is a child and they're moving out to go and you know further themselves um, they're moving out to live with friends or that sort of a thing go with the flow whatever this um, um, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn between the age of 18 and 45 this young person whatever they are deciding go with the flow go with the flow whoever this person is and whatever is transpiring just go with the flow don't fight against the flow okay this person needs to um, work out their karma and this is the reason why okay so whatever the energy is and whatever that is going on with this young person you just need to leave them so that they can definitely go with the flow because there is definitely something that is happening and they um, realize that they need to go with the flow and as you see what is transpiring and what is happening you're going to be understanding um, that is better that you just let this person go and let them um, you know communicate that I understand because um, sometimes you can't stand in your child's way or if it is someone you're in a relationship with you can't stand in their ways okay so um, we're asking the angels and guys to show us the hermit with the lovers what is that about the hermit with the lovers the hermit with the lovers is obviously some of you are going to be seeing the truth about your marriage okay this is and it could be a contract work you're going to be seeing the truth with a friend or with someone you're married or in a long-term relationship and um, you're going to be realizing that there's a better people out there because what came up with it is that there's multiple opportunities out there for you so some of you could be finally seeing the truth to a relationship some of you it could be that you're married to this person and you're realizing that this person treat me like shit but I deserve better and it's as if in the month of October you're going to be realizing this some of you it could have to do with some of you um, wants to um, start a family and you're wondering you know is there anyone out there um, is the right person out there for me so that could be it because I'm seeing you thinking about family for the people who doesn't have family what is the energy for the Aquarians and the tower the Aquarians and the tower the Aquarians and the tower we have transition we see an energy of ending so um, definitely definitely some of you are going through some issues with an um, Aquarian and they are definitely going to be removed out of your life now the end um, is here for this relationship this friendship whatever it is but whoever this Aquarian is they're out they're out games over games effing over <laughs> the game is over so some of you could have been having issues with an Aquarian and the universe is just bringing them down it's like the tower moment and it's like bye bye whatever the issue is whatever the situation whatever they were doing it's out now we have the energy of um, an healing and it's as if your spirit guides uh, or people in power is going to be finding out something and bring an end to an issue so 
some of you this situation that is happening uh, um, is where um, people in power or if your parents if one or more of your parents um, has died or is in the spirit world um, they are helping you from the spirit world to heal an issue and a situation whatever the issue and the situation that was transpiring um, with you guys and uh, it's definitely an Aquarian um, the tower is uh, um, the energy also of uh, a Leo the releasing of the Leo and its work okay so the tower moment because the, the ring comes up is a contract a contract could be ending okay so in October some of you could be hearing of a contract being ended or a contract is not being extended so um, that is bringing a tower moment so it's always a contract or a love relationship now whatever the issue is and the situation and Elin and some of you your wishes and dreams is going to come true because I'm seeing your spirit guides and angels are helping you and people in authority could be helping you with a situation that you were dealing with and this is good now what we're seeing here is that some of you ladies who have kids you're worried about how you're going to be um, you know working out the Christmas so um, the six of cups and the outlook the six of cups and the outlook is definitely um, it's going to be okay unexpected surprise is coming in so I'm seeing that a lady was looking at the kids and wondering how am I going to be um, you know preparing the kids for Christmas because Christmas is coming and the universe is telling you that you're going to be receiving a new contract multiple opportunities are going to be opening you're going to be receiving a new contract so you will have a better outlook unexpected surprises is going to be coming in where the universe is going to make sure um, that you are a stable your financial stable and this is going to be good because whatever that is going on some of you if you were worried about how are you going to deal with the kids for Christmas is going to be okay okay five of Pentacle art ships communication mercury could be some of you are having an art issue with a Gemini what is that all about um, angel show us mercury communication definitely a, um, a letter is going to be coming in uh, information a letter is going to be coming in that is going to be um, communicating something and whatever this letter is communicating is letting you know of something that you weren't aware of okay and this could be coming November beginning December um, this letter could be coming in okay so um, some of you was waiting you have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this letter is it going to be good what is this letter about yes there is communication I'm seeing people positive communication is going to be coming in um, to you okay so whatever is happening with this letter it's going to definitely um, be um, really positive communication um, that is going to be coming in because it's as if um, whatever that was transpiring there some of you were waiting on communication and the communication is here because uh, um, some of you um, if you're writing a book I'm seeing I'm seeing multiple messages coming in and a lot of talk about information so some of you could have been writing or um, for trying to find out some information I'm seeing some of you are going to be communicating a lot multiple a lot of communication via um, whether work or a text message or um, but a lot of communication is coming in okay and it could be grouped communication or it could be just um, a lot of talking a lot of information a lot of talking that is coming true so what is this all about it's the end of some deceptive situation that was going through I'm seeing um, this is definitely um, the end um, to some um, deceptive or bad speaking that was going on behind your back and some of you weren't aware of this hard conversation some hard conversation is going to be uh, I mean like tough conversation is going to be coming in 
um, which makes you feel as if you're placed in um, it could be hardship but it's as if you you were placed in that and you, these communication that is coming in okay so we're asking the angels and guides what is coming up for this knight of pentacles going in the flow and we're going to be taking three cards so it's a man and uh, this man is overseas and you are going to be successful over this man okay so it's a man so some of you are dealing with the energy of a man so you're just going with the flow so this this man is a Taurus but you're going to be successful over this man because it's your breeding and it has to do with um, a young Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn whoever this man is okay um, this man is overseas it's a foreigner okay um, and this man um you are definitely definitely going to be successful it's as if some of you were dealing with a man overseas that was uh, creating um some conflicts for you and um you are going to be um um you're really really going to be um getting over this okay um and you're going to be really getting over this because you're going to be successful over this person some of you men could be going on vacation um and it's going to be a very positive um a um, um vacation some of you positive is going to be having a very very positive journey if you're going um if you're traveling overseas you're going to be having a very very positive journey okay let's see what is coming out for you liberals attachment so attachment is in the reverse and this is positive that attachment is in the verse whatever the issue is I'm seeing um, attachment that you're no longer attaching yourself to anything you're just taking things as it comes it's as if hey um, I can be married to you but I am not attached to you so whatever the issue is and whatever is transpiring um, you're going to be realized that hey I'm attached to you but that's about it um, and you're releasing that attachment It's as if you are letting people know hey I'm not attached to you you have your life I got my life and I'm going with the flow and that is what is going to be happening for some of you especially people who are married then you get the base chakra so whatever is happening to your financial stability you need to call upon the angels and guides to heal your base chakras okay check out the general readings to see what is going to be happening for um, um, check out the general readings but also check out the um, extended readings to see what is going to be happening with your financial stability because um, that is going to be coming up and um, I want to say to you guys um, in order to clean it to heal your base chakra because your base chakra has to do with money financial stability um, whatever the issue is that is happening around your base chakra you got to you got to heal this and you can said lum lum it is the hurt it's all about the material and you said I have I have the money so whoever this lady is that was worrying you know I don't have a job or I need extra money for the Christmas it's gonna be okay because because it's gonna be coming in <gasps> okay I love you guys I gotta go um there is I don't know three times nine so something is definitely going to end in the lives of you Librans whatever is transpiring whatever is happening something is definitely going to be handed in the life of you Librans whatever needs to be ended you need to let it go okay and people are always saying you're always saying that but you don't understand hey if it's not working it's just not working let it go you know life goes on whatever is transpiring if it's not working it's not working let it go okay some of you men are going to be having really a nice start I love you guys um, please like share these videos and namaste